Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I posted. Um, Etsy has been slow, very slow, but my life has not been slow. It's been um, pretty busy and pretty chaotic lately. Um, just so many things are going on. It made it really hard for me to pick up the camera and film for you guys. But luckily, um, I have this video filmed and I have a work with me filmed as well for you. So keep a lookout for a work with me work with me video coming out very soon. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my bows um, that I sell in my Etsy shop. Um, I make bows and head wraps as well. Um, I recently just added these to my Etsy shop for customers to add on to their birthday outfits or whatever outfits they are purchasing, which is really nice because it's just an extra way to make an extra couple bucks. So um, I definitely recommend adding these to your Etsy shop. They're super quick and super easy to make. There's also so many different ways to make these type of bows. So definitely go check out some more YouTube videos on how to make these different types of bows um, just because there's so many ways to make them but I found that this way that I'm doing has been the easiest and the quickest for me but again there are so many different ways to make these types of bows so definitely go do your research and find what works best for you so in this video I'm going to show you how to make the different style of bows that I make so I make little pigtail bows um, a five inch bows with either a clip or a nylon head wrap and then just a basic head wrap as well. I also show you too how I make my bow holders as well. I've been getting so many requests on this video um, so I thought I would film it for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's dive in on how I make the bow, bow holders and then we'll dive in on how I make the actual bows. But let's get started. Okay guys, so I like to use Pick Monkey um, and for my bow, bow holders, I'm gonna be using Pick Monkey today. So I'm just gonna use a blank canvas and I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom and uh, pick a pre-made customized size, I guess. Um, so as you can see, there's a bunch of different sizes that you can pick from. Um, I've tried the four by six, it has worked great, but for this project, I'm going to be using a 5x7 um, to do my bow, bow holders. So my bow holders are going to be a 5x7 for just the basic 5-inch bows and for the pigtail bows as well. Uh, Pig Monkey has a variety of different fonts, but I'm just going to use my normal font that I typically use for my business logo, and I'm just going to type in my business name. And then I'm gonna have that at the top of my bowl holder. And then I'm gonna add another thing. I'm gonna add my website as well. I like to use a different font just to kind of have some contrast to it. Um, you obviously could use the same font for everything, but for me, I just like how it looks to have two contrasting fonts. Then for my bowl holders, um, because I am CPSC compliant, um, I do have to add um, this little small portion to the bottom of my bowl holders. Um, so I just wrote down made in the US, A of imported and domestic materials. And then I also like to include that I am CPSC compliant and that I follow, follow all the requirements necessary to make kids bows. And then last, I'm going to add my batch of our place to add my batch number um, because on each of these, each bow that I make, I do have to include a batch number and log each bow that I make. Now I'm just adding my social media icons. Um, my customers so if they want to follow me on social media they can follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok as well i love that pick monkey offers these little icons and i'm just going for the black and white color scheme um, i just want to keep it really basic and really simple so i'm just adjusting the sizes for these little icons and that's pretty much it so pick monkey will automatically save your design so now I'm going to go ahead and open up an 8x5x11 
um, size and I'm gonna be able to fit two of my five by seven bowl bow holders onto the cardstock. And I don't think I mentioned this yet, but I just use basic cardstock um, to be able to print out my bowl holders. So um, I'm able to fit two onto a sheet, so that's perfect. Um, I just downloaded it and now I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and print it out from my basic little printer. And I'm printing these designs out onto cardstock again. Um, I don't use the thickest of the, of the cardstock, but um, I don't know the exact weight of the cardstock, but I'll try and remember to add that in the link in the description. So if you wanna get the same cardstock that I'm using, it'll be down in the description. So now I'm using another design that I already had pre-made. Um, so for my head wraps, um, my bowl holders need to be a little bit bigger just because of the head wraps are bigger, of course. So I already have um, my design already made up. I'm just adding my socials onto the design. And once I have everything how I like it, I'm like trying to get them exactly all the same size. My OCD's kicking in. <laughs> And then I like how everything looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy the exact design that I have and paste it. And as you can see, I'm able to fit two of my bow holders for wraps, and that's it. So let's go ahead and dive in on how we make these bows. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and go over some of the materials that we're gonna be using to make these five inch bows. Um, one material that you'll need for all the different bows that we'll be making tonight is these clear um, little rubber bands. Now they don't have to be clear, but you just need these little, little tiny little rubber bands to help tie the bow in the middle. You don't need this, you could use a needle and thread, uh, but for me I found that using these is, has been the easiest method for me. So um, I got these off Amazon. I'll have this linked down below for you guys. And then depending on the type of bow you're going to make either with a nylon headband or with a clip, um, you'll decide which one you wanna do or if you're gonna offer both, you can offer both. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make both. Um, now for the clips, um, I have different sizes. I have a three inch clip and then this one is a two and a half inch clip. For my five inch bows, I like to use this larger three inch clip. Um, I just found that this was the best size for me. I prefer this size for those type of bows. Um, I'll have these links down below. These are CISPA. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, certified. Um, so they've been tested for lead and all that good stuff and they come with cert, um, certificates. All you have to do is email the company and they will send out their certificate of compliance. And I'll have these clips linked down in the description below. Now you can find clips like this off Amazon or at, off eBay or just other websites, but a lot of those clips aren't I guess, um, haven't been tested for lead. So those most likely won't be approved for kids or baby bows. Um, so I recommend this company just because they are, they have gone through all the testing needed for lead and all that good stuff. Um, these nylon um, head wraps, um, I have, I got these off Amazon, super cheap um, for this big old pack of them. So, um, I'll have these also linked down below for you guys, but let's go ahead and let's dive in now on how I make these five inch bows. Okay, so right here I have a five inch strip. Um, I do sell these five inch strips on my Etsy. Um, I have this sprinkle bow, I have this cow print, and a mermaid print similar to this one as well on my Etsy. I do plan on adding a ton more of these strips to my Etsy shop, so definitely keep a lookout for those. But currently I have a five inch strip. Now you can do these bows as a four inch bow, five inch, six inch, seven inch, depending on how big you want the bows. I like using the five inch bows. So I have a long strip, um, it's five inches wide. Um, and for this, um, just for a basic bow, you need a five inch strip so five by 18. 
Um, and on my Etsy shop, I sell them as 5x18, 5x36, or 5x52. And um, those are perfect for making head wraps or these type of bows as well. So um, with my strip, I, um, I'm not going to cut it down. But I will cut it down at the end and I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. But I'm going to have my bow with the wrong sides facing up and I'm going to fo fold my fabric over five inches. Just like that. And then I'm going to fold it over again another five inches. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my little rubber bands. I just need one. So now what you're going to do is you're going to pinch the top and the bottom, pinch again, and then pinch the center to make your pleats. You should have five pleats all together. Um, you could do four just depending on what you like and how you like your bows to look. I like the, the five pleats. I think that looks the best. So I just wrapped my bow with a rubber band two times. I don't want it to be too tight because I do want to still be able to adjust um, the elastic to make sure that it's in the center. So I'm checking right now using my little mat. You could just use a ruler if you want, but I'm just checking to make sure that this elastic, or not elastic, this little rubber band is in the center um, of this bow. And then I'm just going to cut off this remaining fabric Just like that and then I'll have this extra piece right here um, if you purchase the 5 by 18 inch piece of my Etsy shop it leaves you a perfect amount of fabric to be able to to be able to tie the center of the bow and then I'm just using a little piece of fabric it's about two inches wide and I'm just gonna fold this to the center and then fold it again. So I just have like a little piece like that. And then I'm just gonna tie it around my bow and make any needed adjustments that I need to make. And then just like that, I have the bow. Now I am going to use some fabric glue on the back to just kind of glue these ends to the back of the bow um, so it doesn't come undone. Now you could totally so the centerpiece, if you want, um, you can hand sew that. For me, I'm not really good at hand sewing, so I like this whole tying method the best. And the nice thing about using bullet fabric, it doesn't fray, it's super stretchy. So just doing a simple knot in the back works perfect. Now there are so many different types of methods that you can use, but I just found this one to be the easiest and um, I think it looks great. Okay, so now I'm just going to use some fabric glue to glue these back ends. Now you can totally use a hot glue gun for this, which I plan on doing eventually. I just have to find my hot glue gun. So I'm just using this fabric glue for now. But I think um, using a hot glue gun would be a lot easier and a lot quicker. This glue can sometimes be a little hard to work with, but once it dries, it dries like cement. So totally recommend using this glue. It really holds up well. Um, I haven't used hot glue yet, but for most people who make these bullet bows, they always use hot glue. So that's something that I will be using. Just I'm trying to use up what, what I have now and then down the road I will be using a hot glue gun. So that's going to take like a few minutes to dry fully. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the clip now. So here is the clip. Now I've seen other people, they put like hot glue on the metal piece and then um, tie the fabric around. That way I found that just putting the clip through the knot like this has worked just fine. So there is the bow with the clip. So I'm gonna do the same thing but this time I'm gonna use the nylon. So let's go ahead and make another one of these. Okay, so for this one, another trick too that kind of helps with fabric poking out from the back is to trim down the edges so they don't poke out when you fold the bow. So again, I'm gonna fold it over five inches. 
fold it over again another five inches and grab a little hair tie and again you're going to pinch the top pinch again and pinch the center to make your pleats and I, again I like to use the mat to kind of help me find that center point so I know exactly where to pinch the bow and I only wrap it around twice because I don't want it super tight because I still want to be able to adjust the bow as needed to make sure that everything's even and then this little extra piece that I have in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and trim that down. Okay, and then with this little extra piece of fabric I have right here, I'm just gonna fold it, fold it again. And before I tie it, I am gonna make sure that I have one of my nylon head wraps. And before I tie it, I'm just gonna stick that right there. And let me zoom in for you guys so you can see how exactly I tie it. It's super simple. All right, so I have my middle piece, my nylon, and then the other side to my middle piece. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tie them. So I'm gonna loop this over. And before I make it super tight, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the bow back over, make any adjustments that I need. Get it centered exactly how I want. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. Okay, so here is the bow, and then here is the nylon head wrap on the back. And you could just adjust it so the head wrap is nice and even and centered. And then again, these little flaps that you have right here, You'll just hot glue them down. Okay guys, so here are the two different style of the five inch bows. So we have one with a clip and one with a nylon bow. Um, I'll show you guys how I add them to my cardstock and how I display them. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get started on the next thing of bows. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's make the three inch pigtail bows. Now for this, I have a three inch piece of fabric and you'll need a three by like 12 inch piece of fabric. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim this little part off right here. So for your three inch piece of fabric, you're just like how we did with the five inch bow, we're gonna fold it over two times. But instead of folding it over five inches each time, we're gonna fold it over three inches two times. So there's one and two. So you're gonna fold it over two times and each time you're gonna fold it over three inches. And for the pigtail bows, I found that doing just the one, um, pinching the top and then pinching the middle. Let me zoom in for you guys. So what I like to do is I'll pinch the top, pinch the bottom, and for this one, I'm just gonna pinch the middle and just have three pleats. And then with the same rubber bands that I've been using, I'm just gonna tie the center. I just wrap it two times. Adjust the hair tie so it's in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my scissors or rotary blade and cut off all this extra fabric. Just like that. And then I'm gonna cut a um, about an inch and a half, two inches worth of fabric. Just like that. And this fabric is directional, so just keep that in mind when you are tying your bow. Okay. 
All right, so I have it tied in the back, and again, um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right here to glue, that, glue down these ends. And for the clip, I'm gonna be using my two and a half inch clip for this. Um, you could totally use nylons and just do like a mini bow on the nylon head wrap, which would look really cute. I'm, con I'm thinking about adding these to my shop as well, but I noticed that the pigtail bows have been super popular. I've been getting a lot of requests for them. Um, so I offer these three inch bows as a set for like to do pigtail bows basically. So let me go ahead and add some glue to the back and then I'll add the clip. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my clip. I always like to double check and make sure the clips are in good condition, that they're not gonna break. And just like that, just poked it through the bottom. And there you go, you have a three inch bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one more of these so it's a complete set. Okay, so for this next portion, um, we're gonna be making head wraps. So I purchased these head wrap boards off of Etsy. I'll make sure and leave their Etsy shop links down below. I purchased these as a set. Um, so I got from a newborn preemie size all the way up to a kid size. They even offer adult sizes as well. But because I'm marketing just kids for these types of head wraps, um, I just got the preemie size all the way up to a kid size so um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a baby size head wrap to show you guys and for this one we're going to use a whole strip um, you won't need to use the whole all the fabric but I just have one strip just to make things easier for me so first things first is you're gonna make a bow just like how we made the five inch bow you're gonna do the same thing you're going to um, Fold over your five inch strip two times and each time you fold it over, you're gonna fold it over five inches. There's one. And then two. Again, we're gonna take another little rubber band and we're going to find our center point, pinch the top and bottom, pinch again, and then pinch the center. Tie it. Adjust it as needed. And I think that looks perfect. So now that we have the bow finished, we're gonna take whatever bow board size you're using and we're going to take the bow and try and center it as much as we can in the center. And then we're gonna take this strip and we're gonna take it and I like to pinch the top portion um, so basically just like the bow part and I'm gonna take my fabric I'm gonna wrap it behind the bow and then I'm gonna take the fabric and tuck it under or tuck it under the bow portion just my fabric as needed okay and now with this piece of fabric right here we're gonna go ahead and you know adjust it how we need it and then we're also going to fold the fabric inward and we're going to go ahead and fold 
the fabric over the center, making sure it covers the elastic and that it's in the center. But instead of tucking the fabric back under, we're gonna take this bow portion, fold it over, and let me zoom in. You're gonna have this little piece of fabric, which is basically this portion that we are wrapping over, fold over the bow. Take your little strip and you're gonna tuck it in there. Tightening it just a little because I don't wanna tighten it too tight because I still need to adjust the bow in the center. And once I get it exactly how I want, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the fabric. Okay, so once you have it all adjusted, how you like it, um, this extra piece of fabric, you're gonna go ahead and just trim it off. And the bow will kinda hide that for you. And I always like to just double secure it and add a bit of a little glue. Again, you could use hot glue for this. Then you can take it off your board. And then you have a little Head wrap. So cute. Okay, so I have a variety of different bow holders. Now I already showed you guys in the beginning of this video how I made these. Um, so I have this um, type of bow holder and then I also have the longer ones for the head wraps. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I add my bows to my bow, bow holders. So with each bow, I have to write a batch number. Um, and I have a whole video on how I do my batch numbers and what batch numbers are, all that stuff. I'll try and link that video up above for you guys to check out, but I'm gonna be adding my batch numbers. And each little code is unique to me, only I really know what the code means. Um, it's just for me to keep track of the bows and when I made them. So I have my batch number. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like fold this in half a little bit, not completely in half, and then I'm just gonna do a little snip with my scissors to kind of do like a little opening, just like that. And then the bows with the clips, they will just attach right on to the bolt bow holder, just like that. Make any needed adjustments to the bow. And then I also like to individually wrap each bow as well. And I have these um, little clear plastic sleeves. These are a six by nine um, little sheet. So I got these off Amazon. I, I'll have that also listed in the description um, for you guys. There is one bow. Now for the nylon bow, I don't have to do like any cuts into the card stock. Basically, I'll just wrap the bow right around the card holder, or bow holder, I mean. Now for the pigtails, um, I'm gonna do the same thing and just do a little cut down the center. Okay, so for this one, I like to cut down um, the cardstock so it fits the head wrap because um, depending on the size head wrap, I'll have to um, trim down the edges just a little bit. And for the head wraps, you will, instead of adding the batch numbers and stuff to the card holder, um, with head wraps, you actually need to add um, all your information to the actual wrap 
Unfortunately, um, I don't have a stamp yet, so um, I'm going to be using sublimation to be able to add my batch numbers and my logo to the actual head wrap. Um, but for now, um, because I am just prepping for a market, I just want to try and do it this way for now um, until I can get a stamp. Um, I could do sublimation, but I want to try and prep as many bows as I can as possible, so I just have my batch numbers um, on the card holder. Um, but definitely for head wraps, you need to add the batch number and all your info to the actual head wrap because the head wrap is big enough, technically. Okay, so here are the finished bows and head wraps. So again, I have my five inch bow with just a basic nylon wrap or you could do it with a clip and then you could do a head wrap or some pigtail bows as well so um, I'm gonna be prepping a ton of bows for a market I actually have a market coming up within this next week so I'm gonna be spending a ton of time making these bows and making outfits to go along with these bows so the next few days is gonna be pretty busy and pretty stressful so um, I'm just gonna try my best to try and get most of these bows done and prepped so I don't have to stress about them um, I did have my knees cut up a bunch of bow holders for me I have like this little basket full of like fabric already pre-cut for to make bows luckily doing these bows um, I could use a lot of my scraps so that's what I've been using is just a bunch of my scraps um, and also I sell the five inch strips on my Etsy shop so definitely go check that out if you're in need of some bow making fabric but that's gonna go ahead and be it for this video alright guys well that's it for this video I really hope you liked this tutorial sorry it has taken me so long to get this video up and um, just to get a video up in general life has been crazy busy um, Etsy has been slow but my life has just been so incredibly busy so I just really haven't had time to pick up the camera and film for you guys um, I do have a work with me already filmed I just need to sit and edit that one as well so I have this video and a work with me coming and um, a bunch of tutorials coming as well so just keep a lookout for any new videos coming out soon um, I should have a couple coming out within these next few days so just keep a lookout um, if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so whenever I do post a video you guys won't miss it and if you enjoyed this tutorial definitely give this video a like and if you end up making um, these bullet fabric bows definitely go join my Facebook group and show us what you made I'm really excited to see um, what you guys create with these with this tutorial so definitely Go join my Facebook group and share with us what you're working on. So, um, yeah, but that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.